Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha, and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are unboxing and taking a look at the Crystals and Chakras, a oracle deck for inner balance. So we have 50 cards in a guidebook. This is written by Luca Apicella. Hopefully I'm saying these names correctly. I do apologize if I am not. Illustrated by Alessandra de Cristofaro. This retails for $23.95 and is published by U.S. Game Systems. And thank you so much to U.S. Games for sending this deck my way to share. I am so excited to get into it. Sounds amazing. And as always in the description box below, you'll find where you can legitimately purchase this should you want to. And whilst you're there, I do have my link tree that will provide you my only social media accounts. If they're not listed there, uh, then I do not have them. Do not get scammed. Do not uh, get taken advantage by people pretending to be me or other creators. So double check and make sure that you aren't getting taken for a ride there. All right, so crystals have been used since ancient times to heal physical and emotional problems. When our chakras, the wheels of energy in our body, are out of balance, it may negatively affect the healthy functioning of certain body parts. Working with gemstones restores a balanced frequency to the chakras so they can return to working harmoniously. This colorful oracle deck is inspired by the crystals and the chakras connected to them. Based on the powers and vibrations of the crystals, the Cards and Guidebook provides messages to help us address issues that come up in our healing journey. Deck includes 37 crystal cards, 7 chakra cards, and 6 helper cards with a 64-page illustrated guidebook. All right, I am excited. Ooh, that's pretty. There's the book. Okay, same on the back there. All right, let's just take a peek at the guidebook real fast to see if there's anything in important to know how to use. We have a table of contents. We love a table of contents. Color printed. Awesome. To explore a wide range of topics, use the cards to ask yourself questions or consult the oracle with those you care about. Okay. Gives you a little chart of the chakras. We have a single reading, three card spread, and a home spread. Note, the crystals highlighted in the cards may also be worn if you have them available. In this case, only wear one crystal at a time, the one you consider most appropriate for your question. Also, remember that the stones should not be worn overnight or more than 21 days in a row. Moreover, remove the stones if you feel a sense of unease after two days. If this happens, ask yourself if you are truly ready for the proposed change. Interesting. Okay, so nothing important to utilize this deck and everything is color printed in here. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna unwrap this and I'll be right back. All right, so we have, it's like a slight gloss, but there's the back, very pretty. And it is, you know, it's not super thick, but it's on the thicker side, but it is very flexible. Okay, I'm interested to see how this is gonna shuffle. I like it so far. I like the size too. Okay. So I'm gonna read the bottom just because it might not show up, but we have black tourmaline. Love black tourmaline. It's one of my favorites for grounding and protection. Black onyx. Love the art style so far. Black obsidian. Obsidian is great too. Red Jasper. Ruby. Oh, these are great. Garnet. I love the art style, it's so, so fun. Petrified wood. Okay, I'm gonna totally butcher this name, but it's Chistolite Andulazite. <laughs> Orange Calcite. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, Carnelian. Sunstone, oh my gosh, I love Sunstone. Pretty. Pyrite. 
Who doesn't love pyrite? Great for money work. Tiger's Eye. Oh, love Tiger's Eye too. Sorry. I just love crystals in general. <laughs> there are certain ones that I work with a lot. Uh, yellow and Honey Calcite. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love. Makes me happy. Yellow Fluorite. Citrine Quartz. This is great. Rhodochrosite. Lepidolite or Lepidolite. Love this stuff. Oh my gosh. I have a huge, <laughs> huge tower of it. Love, love, love. Okay, it's not that huge, but still. Rose Quartz, very popular, especially for self-care and love and relationships. Love me some Malachite, fantastic. Emerald. Green Adventuring, another great one for money work. Lapis Lazuli, love, Sodalite, yes, Blue Chalcedony, Aquamarine, Angelite, Azurite, because I can read. <laughs> Azurite. Sugalite. Purple fluorite. Amethyst. Yes. Ametrine, Magnesite, White Onyx, Moonstone, Selenite, yes. <laughs> Highland Quartz, First Chakra, Second Chakra, Third Chakra, Fourth chakra, fifth chakra, love that, sixth chakra, <laughs> and seventh chakra, stone cleansing, Cute aura cleansing messages energy vampire, those are fun. Feminine principle and masculine principle. All right, these are fun. I am so excited to get to know them. Let's see how they shuffle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they shuffle great. I don't have an issue with them. They're a little sturdier, but they're still very flexible. All right. 
and they shuffle great this way too. I don't have an issue. All right, there we go. We got one to read and we have blue chalcedony. All right, let's go to the table of contents here. Thirty-eight. So they're not alphabetical. Oh, I love this. Okay. So it gives you the chakra. So this would be the throat or the, I'm not even, I'm going to say that horribly, pronounce it horribly, Vishuddha. Forgive me if it's wrong. I do apologize. So color would be blue and the keyword would be emotions. Coming across a transparent blue chalcedony is like putting your head underwater and admiring the depths of the sea with its blurred contours. This variety of quartz precisely transmits the ability to uh, the ability of water to flow, especially when we need to meet our emotions. It facilitates these tears that have not yet flowed for a long time and helps to relieve the emotional pressure that would otherwise cause damage to the inside of our body. So then we have an oracle message. Look at me carefully. In me, you will find the waves of the sea. I push your emotions out, let them go, freeing yourself from that burden that otherwise risks drowning you. Oh my gosh. I love this. So the helping cards are great too. Fantastic. Okay, I really, really like this. I think this is fantastic if you're trying to learn about crystals and chakras or either or. Um, I love the way that it's illustrated. I think it's great. Very beginner friendly. The quality is fantastic. And it gives you a lot of crystals that you can find at your local crystal shop. Um, that are perfect if you're trying to you know, incorporate them in your healing or to help with your blockages. This will help kind of allow you to get to know those crystals a little bit better instead of just being like, oh, that's a green crystal. That's for my heart chakra. Okay, but there's specific purposes for that specific green crystal too. So this is fantastic. I absolutely love the information provided. I love the artwork. The cardstock is great. I love the card size. I love how many cards you get with this. Fantastically done. This is uh, like no notes <laughs> from me. So with that, I would now love to know what you think about this deck. Is this something that you're excited about? Is this something that you pre-ordered? Let me know all of your thoughts and drop your favorite. Um, I don't even know what emoji they have. Do they have crystal emojis? Uh, crystal or how about just uh, the evil eye? Let's do that. The evil eye emoji in your comment section to let me know that you've made it through the video. Thank you so much to US Game Systems for sending this deck my way. I am really excited. I'm looking forward to getting to know this a little bit better. And thank you all for hanging out with me today. I love you and I like you. If you have not done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.